With Usman Burns coming to a close, congratulations Usman, we get to speculate on what happens with the welterweight division. Right now, there is no clear number one contender like there was with Burns. As for the top 10, the only fighters booked in are Woodley and Luke for March 27th. So what about everyone else? Here is what I think the next move for welterweight from 10 and up should look like. Damian Meyer dropped down the table with a loss to Burns and Magny is coming off a loss to Chiesa. Unfortunately for these boys, they are too far down a division where the top guys need to sort each other out. And this could be the best move if the two men want to stay active. With the UFC's big push of Hamza Chimaev and Michael Chiesa deserving of both a big name and a solid payday, I think this is a sensible matchup. As dominant as Chimaev has been, to skip the whole queue from a non-ranked fighter to number 4 Leon Edwards is pretty generous. Kiesa could do with another month or two off, and Chimaev is in the same boat. Two men who want to prove they belong in the top 5? This would be an interesting fight. Steven Thompson made it clear that he wants Masvidal next, and then a shot at the title. And with two good wins over Jeff Neal and Vicente Luque, he deserves a shot at someone above him in the rankings. With Masvidal tied up and talks of Colby, Leon Edwards in the works, it probably makes sense for him to face Burns next. Coming off a tough loss to Usman, this could be the thing they both need to get their careers back on track. Finally, that leaves us with Colby versus Edwards, and although it's not the fight we wanted from those two fighters, it is a good elimination fight to see who Kamaru faces next. And finally, the champ has asked for Masvidal. And I personally think this is going to be a hard one to get done. The talks of Masvidal versus Colby, which would have been a great fight, especially if they did tough together, seem to have been put on hold, lucky for Kamaru. I still don't think Masvidal will come to the table for that fight. Nate Diaz just called out two lightweights, Charles Oliveira and Dustin Poirier. Ignoring the talks of Poirier versus McGregor 3, neither of those men have any business at welterweight. With Masvidal lacking anyone to match his star power right now, I think it wouldn't be unlikely to see this fight booked for a rematch. I would still love it as a fan even though it's been played out and the UFC aren't going to say no to a payday like that. In the meantime, I think Usman will have to wait. As cringe as he is, respect to Kamaru. Equaling GSP's record is an incredible achievement and we could see a very dominant champ for years to come. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Kamaru, the Nigerian nightmare, who's my